Well, two defensemen that Paul Rabel probably knows pretty well are the Bayhawks, Nikki Polanco and Brian Spelina. The two Long Island natives are probably the most feared duo in the league. After spending three seasons together with the Lizards, Dave Cottle brought the two to the Bayhawks to solidify the identity of his defense, and the dividends included a championship in 2012. Now, admittedly, both are probably on the back end of all-star careers, but they continue to play at a high level and bring an equally entertaining spirit and personality to the league each week, as our Ron Zwerin found out when both Polanco and Spelina visited Boston a few weeks back. I'm here with Nikki Polanco and Brian Spelina. So guys, you guys have played together for an awfully long time. Over the course of the years, as you guys have watched the game evolve, what have you guys noticed the most in terms of players and their development? I think the speed of the game is tremendous. I think uh, there are so many more players that could play at a high level. Um, you know, that, that you can't really key in on one particular guy. I mean, when the league originated and there were six teams, I think, you know, at that time the, the level of play was real high. And then we went to 10 teams and you could see there was, you know, that you could start to key in more on guys. And I think now it's kind of getting back towards that six team feel where there's just so many talented players across the board. Do you, do you see, kind of see it the same way? I feel the same way. The speed, the physicality, big time. I mean, it's not just the Division One guys either. Division Two and Division Three guys really shine long term. And, and so as that has evolved, how have you guys evolved? You guys have been around for a long time. So what have you guys done to evolve your game so you guys can keep up with some of these younger guys? You know, I, I think the game is so different from a, from a college level that having experience is almost better than having youth. You know, and I think we proved that a little bit last year with a, a talented team of older guys and, and we had success together. You know, part of that experience to stay young is staying in shape. And I know that for a long time you were doing a lot of MMA, but now you've switched over to doing some CrossFit. Tell me how that's kind of I was just going to say also, to add on top of that, is priding yourself in being in shape. You know, bottom line, guys come out of college already in shape and then second, third year out, you know, it's, you're on your own now. And how much do you care about lacrosse and how passionate are you to be able to compete at the highest level? And, you know, we always look for the competitive edge. Any way we could train different from MMA to just, you know, working out different, running, lifting. We, we, we got into CrossFit um, the last, uh, this past season. Cross CrossFit Massapequa. Yeah, CrossFit Massapequa all day. Um, <laughs> you got Rich, Steve, Brian, and Phil. Um, great organization there. I mean, it's an unbelievable program they set up for us. And I feel like it's just complete muscle confusion um, and prepares you for the greatest sport in the world. Now, you competitive guys. Competitive as well. Very competitive yeah. as well. Now, you guys live. Like what, four houses down from each other? Yes. Who, who borrows the most amount of stuff? Yeah. He, he borrows the most cooking stuff. I always go to him for the lawn gear. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you actually do lawn work? Uh, we dabble in it once in a while. Planted a garden last week. You know, we got, got little kids at home we got to take care of and keep them grounded. Spe speaking of having kids at home, so your kids watch dad play. Do, do they know that you're somewhat nuts on game day? You know, when we put on the helmet, you just, you know, you play and you're competitive. And I hope, to, I hope that we can put that in our kids as well, just to have that competitive drive in whatever they do. If maybe he's going to be a mad scientist or something, or, and my daughter, you know, going to go on to be whatever, you know, whatever it is, just to have that competitive drive. And, uh, you know, whether it's sports or not, and I think that's what drives us, you know, is, is being very competitive and we don't want to lose. You know, we play to our fullest in every I think year. that what our kids will get out of us is that we always give 100%, no matter what. We never quit. No matter what we go through, I think that shows you know, a lot from my parents. We were raised the same exact way. Our parents are very close. You know, we owe everything to our parents, and I think that we'll just instill the same you know, into our own children. Um, just going 100%, never quitting, you know, being loyal to your teammates and whoever you're around. I mean, that's the most important thing. So you guys have obviously been around for a long time. Do you, do you sort of think, okay, if, if we win another championship, is there a point where you start saying, I, I might be done? Or do you just go until the wheels come off and they say, you got to get out of here, kids? You know, I, w I woke up this morning and, uh, you know, I, was t I literally, like, waking up on game day, it doesn't get old. And, and Kyle Dixon tweeted it earlier. I feel that way. Even leaving our family, like, we're, we have families at home. A lot of younger sure. guys on the team are just leaving their girlfriends or just their roommates. And, you know, it's definitely tough leaving my, my pregnant wife at home with my son and him the same. And, you know, bottom line, it doesn't, it's not old yet. At all, like I, I can't wait. I look forward to being with the guys again each week. I look forward to competing, strapping your helmet on, and just going, getting after it. So I, I don't think about that at all. People call us old all the time. You know, we welcome all challengers, as everybody will know. And um, you know, I don't think about it all. No. If you had a chance to sit down and talk with some of these guys who are really getting into lacrosse, and you, and you had to give them some piece of advice, what little piece of advice would it be? I think it comes back to exactly what we said before. I think a little bit of lacrosse. It takes on the uh, lax bro thing, and I think that's the furthest thing from what it should be. Lacrosse is an incredible sport. It's given us both so much, 
and you know to, to give it your all I mean no matter what you do if it's a practice if it's you have to be a team you know through and through and collecting balls and, and you know and just be that guy be the guy that stands out that that does the extra stuff and really gives his all on the field off the field cleaning up garbage picking up balls after practice diving for a ball on the sideline whatever it is you know and I think that's the message that that needs to be sent just be a good teammate yeah and and I mean I know there's a bit of that lax bro thing and to me, that's the furthest thing from lacrosse is. I mean, if you're a competitive athlete, you don't want that, that surrounding you. You want to be a, a guy well known for hard work and, you know, dedication. You know, always give your best is what I always tell kids. Give it your hardest no matter what. It's not about scoring goals. It's never get at work and always give your best. Just 100% at all times. You know, never leave anything off the field at all and question it when you're in the locker room. That's the worst feeling. And you have fun. You got to have fun. It's the most important thing. You're working hard, but you got to have fun. I mean, that's the bottom line. And, you know, a lot of these kids are laughing, smiling. And, and that's, that's really the most important thing about us playing is looking up in the stands and maybe leaving a good impression on a kid to help grow the sport. Nick, Brian, thanks for spending some time with us. Best of luck. Stay healthy, okay? Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank thanks. you.